Hello. Now, today is the culmination of many hours of research and dedication of my life. Now, this is a topic I have been very passionate about for a very long time now. It is about the art of the moral shoppy and or the twink. Not to be confused with the fun day. Before there is very much overlap, as we will see today. Now, I plan to do an entire tournament of the, the open scale and battle and value and worth rating of these tweaks here. But the combination of research will go into what are my personal, what I would believe to be some of the most, um, top tier twinks in the world today, so let's sh see the contestants now, shall we? Fuck! <laughs> fuck! Well, I shut the fuck up, okay? You didn't see it. You didn't see it. You didn't see it, okay? It was on the right slide! Okay, so... The first ever bracket. The first ever tournament bracket competition of Twink Battle is now, and we're witnessing it. Okay, this is a very important moment in history. We see the very bracket of the Academy Rose versus Austin Constantine Knight of Water Park, okay? And, um. I'm just gonna, like, show you a little evolution and a little. What is valuable in a twink, and how you decide what a twink is worth, and its, um, grade, and how, the, what it, what it, what it, what um, if you happen to be either William Beckett or Mark Austin Knight from Water Park, and you stumble upon this video, I suggest you do not watch it, because it will be perhaps to you, it might not make you feel the best. If your ego is so fragile, this might be considered disrespectful or degrading, as I will be rating it even within the twink status, but I assure you this is all for the good of good of research and science. Now, this, what you're seeing before you, is what I would consider to be the optimal twink. This is William Beckett. Now, I think with the exception of the picture where he has the mic in his hand, these are all from 2006, maybe 2005. Um, I cannot get enough of this. This is what keeps me down in this life. Is that beautiful, beautiful face. I see that as the perfect blend of masculinity and femininity right there. Right in front of your eyes, you see. But it is a twink. Twink. Some this is still a man. 
and we still love it. He is still absolutely scrumptious, especially in that one with the red shirt and the one with the shirt open. He's a 24 there, 23 in the one with the red shirt. It's still beautiful. Glow up perhaps. Some may prefer this look. I still personally think there is no this is peak human evolution in front of your eyes here, but this still holds its place and it's still very delicious. Now, by the time we reach our late 20s, we see more of a Michael Sarah esque aesthetic, a little more homosexual appearing, um, I'm not entirely sure, uh, because at this point, it seems to be changing rapidly in appearance, very quickly, um, but at the same time, it's still... He's still very much, I would still consider him a twink at this stage in his late 20s here, and I still very much love this man. Now, we're approaching 30 here. We hit 30, we're doing the Queen anniversary tour, and he has brought back the long hair. Now, we very much appreciate this, because long hair, long hair, long hair, baby is the best baby. But, at this point, I wouldn't necessarily consider him a creep anymore, more than I would consider him a gay, gay daddy. Now, I still think this is a twink competition, okay? So, obviously, we want the twink. We want the twink quality. Now, you still see a very soft boy, especially in that center photo, but he is maybe exiting status at this point in his life, and I wouldn't necessarily call him a creature, but there's still love and appreciation that we have for this baby. Now, this is where we talk about the flaws. Now, I like to think of Bilby as a perfect, beautiful man with no flaws, but unfortunately, I stumbled across this image. And I was a little concerned with the glaring similarities between his arm position and certain undesirables that you may have heard of before. Now, I am not necessarily making any accusations of maybe his political beliefs. He would contradict this of what he says, but as we know, uh, he has cheated on his wife in the past, which we do not appreciate and does create a little suspicion as to who we're dealing with here. Now, now, I'm going to refrain from making any accusations, but I'm just saying I don't know how he, I haven't heard him make any statements about Kanye. Yeah, that's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying, okay, now. Here's Austin, um, so, this is what his... Put the hair on 30, do the hair on 24, put the hair on 26, clean hair 27. His early 26 is here, where he has the uh, brown hair with the black picture. Right here, which is kind of like this. different leagues here. This is this is the peak of human evolution. This is just kind of like some emo dude. Now, where I think gets a little more interesting is around this era, this stage. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're having a little ickies. We're having a little, not major, we're having a little malfunctions. Okay, now around this this era here is a little more interesting because. This is around the time he cut his hair, and I am very much, I very much love the long hair on this baby here. But um, I still, I'm still gonna give dead schools here to the baby because I, I still think he's very scrumptious, like very delicious, very beautiful. But I'm saying that I feel like around this time period, Auken is a little, he's kind of, he's still catching wind. Catch a wind on him. And that probably for the late 20s, which is around this time, which is fandom area, uh, Austin Knight, the Danny, uh, this is what Baby looks like. And, 
I'll be honest with you, um, I believe that this is much more of a point than this is. This is more of like a very bad at this point. But what I will say is that um there is a time in your life where you must mature, you must grow up, you must let go of those things. And I think they don't understand this. They don't understand you can't be 21 forever, okay? You can't be forever 21 no matter what brand of clothing you may wear. You understand just in the case that age, you have to develop time often. You need to stop. You need to grow up. You need to stop tweeting about the celebrity crush so much. You're 27 years old, okay? Now, here's him at 30. And let's compare this curve. Um, now, like I said, you can't be a kid forever. I find this to be a little more appealing than this. Not as you think, and this, this woman ends up doing some unsavory things that she kind of like supposedly agrees with. Let's just keep on our predominantly legged side, because we don't really like that. But the guy who sent out my little bit Austin was also a homewrecker in their direction. He was just doing a good girl, so. Not very good, not very good, but, but, overall, overall, if you have to compare overall point status between this guy and our sweet beloved, I think we're kind of going, maybe, 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 maybe,